My name is Rose and I'm an ecologist and environmental educator in Southern Oregon. This is an episode of Outside Every Day with So Real, helping you connect and learn with nature. We're here in this spot today because of this power pole. There's somebody very special who uses this pole. Acorn woodpeckers. Watching birds can be really fun and it's something you can easily do in your neighborhood. First, let's talk about the ABCs of bird watching. A, activity. As you're sitting and watching your bird, what kind of activity are they doing? Do they spend a lot of time scratching around on the ground? Or do they spend most of their time up in the treetops? When they're flying, do they spend a lot of time flapping their wings? Or do they spend a lot of time soaring? B, beak. What shape is your bird's beak? Is it long and thin or short and stubby? This will give you an idea of what kind of foods your bird eats. C, color. Does your bird have any special colors? Any spots or stripes? What color is the bird's belly? What color are its legs? So the ABCs, activity, beak, and color. When you find a bird that you're interested in, you can ask your parents to help you find it online. And then you can figure out what other cool things your bird might be doing. Something else that's very important is to listen. Birds use their voices just like we do to communicate. So you might hear your birds say something like a hello, or they might make a call that's a warning, maybe because of predators in the area. At this very spot, I recently saw three woodpeckers chase off a squirrel, and they had a lot to say about it. Another special thing with woodpeckers is something called a granary. Come and look. Acorn woodpeckers love to stash their acorns in trees. They use this as a food source throughout the winter when there's not very much else to eat. In this case, they've chosen a power pole instead of a tree. And in our area, acorn woodpeckers love stashing their nuts in ponderosa pine trees. Not only do acorn woodpeckers like to store their acorns in power poles or standing trees like ponderosa pines, but they love stashing their nuts in snags, which is a standing dead tree. In this case, this one's fallen down, but you can see the evidence that woodpeckers were here looking for places to store their nuts. About 50% of an acorn woodpecker's diet is acorns, but the other 50% is insects. And so you'll see or hear woodpeckers using their beaks to drill into that wood usually in search of an insect or to make a hole to put their acorn in. Woodpeckers have some very special adaptations that allow them to do this. First, woodpeckers have very strong and stiff tail feathers. This allows them to grip onto the side of a pole or a tree trunk and to be very sturdy while they're doing their work there. They use it like a kickstand on a bicycle. Next, woodpeckers have strong feet to help them grip onto the sides of trees and branches while they're making their holes or stashing their acorns. Woodpeckers also have long barbed tongues to spear the insects that they find and the holes they make. And last, woodpeckers have skulls that are specially made for all the hammering that they do so they don't get hurt. The next time you get a chance, go and explore in your neighborhood and see what kind of birds you can find. Then sit very quietly and watch those birds and see what they might be trying to tell you.